What's going on, guys? Hope you're having a great day today. My name is Steve. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. Today, I'm going to be reacting to Inside London's Super Sewer, the tunnel designed to keep sewage out of the Thames. For some reason, this is something that I find really fascinating. I have no idea why I find sewers to be so interesting, but I don't really think it's the sewer aspect. I think it's just the mega project aspect. And sewers are kind of mysterious in a way to people that really haven't ever looked into them really. And that's me. I've never really studied sewers. So it's something that I find a little bit mysterious and just the engineering aspect of it seems really interesting as well. But uh, I told my wife I was going to be checking out uh, London's new super sewer and uh, <laughs> she thought that was really funny. And I, I must admit that um, if I had heard someone else say, hey, guys, check out the sewer, you know, um, it, it would probably be something that I would find funny as well. But I don't know what it is about things like this. They're just so, so fascinating. But uh, anyways, guys, I really don't know anything about this except that it is a new super sewer. Um, it's a massive concrete pipe. I mean, we're kind of seeing this a little bit here in the thumbnail it looked massive, and that's basically the reason I wanted to check this out because I just want to see a little bit about you know the engineering side of this and just see how huge this thing is. And um, I'm just really curious how much sewage is this actually going to uh, you know take or or you know keep out of the river or whatnot. But uh, anyways, guys, I have no idea what to expect here. I just think this will be very interesting. But uh, enough rambling from me. Let's go ahead and dive in and check out inside London's new super sewer. So currently, spills into the river happen about sixty times a year. That's what we're oh, here to stop. Really. So I'm here in Fulham in London by the River Thames, and I'm standing next to one of the access shafts for London's new super sewer. Super now this sewer, sewer is man. designed to stop sewage from flowing from the old Victorian sewer into the Thames as it does 50 or 60 times a year. Wow, so, so there's quite a big problem there if you've got sewage leaking into the river. You know, I mean, what is that? That's, I mean, a good five times a month or so. I mean, I don't know how much sewage is leaking into the river, but if it's any significant amount, that's obviously a problem. And so basically what I'm gathering here is that they're basically working to replace the old, outdated Victorian lines. And so, uh, you know, that makes a lot of sense. Uh, and this looks just massive. I mean, what? How how big is the Victorian sewer compared to this? Um, I'd like to see the Victorian sewer. I'm going to look into that. If you have any good videos to show some of the older Victorian sewer that's still in use today, please let me know in the comments, guys. That, that'd be something I'd find really, really interesting. Most of the tunneling is now done. We're going to go down into the oh. super sewer itself, which is not operational wow, yet. Wow, that looked huge. My first foray under the Thames, I think, apart from the Blackwall Tunnel. So this goes under the river? Wait, what is that right here? What are we looking at right here? This like tunnel they're going into. Is it... So we're stood in this huge gray concrete tunnel. Where exactly are we and what is this for? So wow. we're in and Fulham. Uh, we're almost under the river at this point. Uh, and this is the super sewer. What we Dude, did... hold on, hold on. Sorry guys, I don't mean to pause so much, but Wow. So when this, when sewage is being pumped through this tunnel, through this sewer, how much of the space of this tunnel is going to be filled? I mean, are we literally talking about they're going to be pushing that much water and waste to fill up the entire tunnel or something? Because this is, this is massive. Um, so... I'm not exactly sure. So this is going under the river. So where is it basically going from London under the river and then it's going into a sewage treatment plant somewhere outside of London or something? That's what I'm guessing may be going on. Let me know in the comments if you know exactly where this is headed. Um, and is this going to be a part of some sort of like a new, new sewage treatment plant as well? Or is it just still going to be going to the same uh, sewage treatment plants that they current that the Victorian system currently goes to, and something else I'm also curious about, guys, 
is the old Victoria system, does that actually go under the river as well? And if so, is it like close by? Are they building the side by side? And then they're basically, once this is ready to go, they're just basically going to turn off the old line and connect it to this. Um, like I said, I've had no experience with sewers. I really don't know, you know, the ins and outs of exactly how they work. I mean, obviously I know what they are, but I don't really know exactly, you know, all this involved with them. But I do find this very, very fascinating for some reason. And I don't really know why I find it so fascinating. It's just kind of mysterious to me, or, or, you know. Super sewer, what we've been doing That's for insane, the last man. eight years is building all of this, building the interception points up and down the river such that currently the sewer spills that go into the river, we capture, we send via some other tunnels. Uh, that is insane. Uh, send it down here. This is the main tunnel. It's falling that way. It's heading east. And there's another 15 out of, out of the total of 25 kilometers in that direction. And we get to Beckton Sewage Treatment Works, which will then treat the sewage, that the raw sewage that okay. currently spills into the river. And if we were stood here in a year or so's time when this is fully operational, what will be happening? What will we see? We could be experiencing anything from total dryness, to maybe small flows, but we could also be seeing flows that go right up, so the pipe is full, right up to the roof above us. Oh my goodness. Wow. That's what I was just questioning. Like, how much is this going to fill up? So it, it depends on the time of, I guess, the time of day or the time of month when they, are they like releasing this from some sort of, from somewhere else? And like I said, I'm not really sure exactly how this works. Um, I'd love to know more about, you know, the ins and outs of this. Um, but did he say there was 25 kilometers of this? Is he literally saying the size of this sewer here, there's 25 kilometers of this? I believe that's what he said. That's insane, man. That That's massive. Wow. And so I'm guessing these pipes are obviously much larger than the old Victorian pipes. And so um, I, I'm guessing there's no way. I mean, they call this a super sewer. and it, I mean, rightfully so. It looks massive. Um and so I'm guessing the Victoria Subarus are are quite small compared to this. I don't I don't know how small, but nowhere near as big as this. So I'm thinking that maybe you need less pipes or something because you can handle more. Is that accurate? Can you just because you can handle so much more with a pipe this size, you probably don't need as many. I don't know. Or maybe there's. I don't know. I'll have to look into this more uh, more detail later on. Hopefully some people will recommend some good videos that'll point me in the right direction, um, you know, to, to kind of understand how these work more, if you understand what I mean. And the whole uh, body of water moving. And sometimes it acts as a, a storage tank. Yeah. If it's raining really storage heavily tank. in London, then Beckton Sewage Treatment Works uh, will we'll struggle to keep up with what's coming to it anyway, let alone all of the things that we're capturing. So we have to hold it here. So it's a it's a large diameter, Ow. total 1.6 million cubic meters. But it, yeah, it's wow. a, it's a storage tank as well as a pipe. And how do you build a tunnel like this? Yeah, seriously. Carefully. <laughs> <laughs> it they, they've they've all been built with uh, with tunnel boring machines, which are fairly well established technology. Clearly, the likes of Basil Jet and Brunel didn't have those kind of things, which wow. is why we can go a lot deeper. And at the same time, it's doing that. It's building. The, the, the tunnel behind it. It's a 15 million pound underground factory, uh, these tunneling machines. Wait, a tunnel behind it? What exactly does he mean by that? What are, they're building another tunnel behind it? Maybe I'm misunderstanding what he's saying there, but um, wow, I, I would love to see these boring machines. I think a long time ago, I saw a, a few images of the boring machines he might be talking about. They're these massive, drills and uh just amazing i've never looked into them though but uh i'd like to it's just fascinating that they it just go under the river you know i i know that's something that's going on for a long time i know you already have tunnels under the river i've never checked any of them out i want to but still it's just fascinating that what humans can do uh it's just amazing it's just it really is just absolutely amazing but this needs to be a waterproof watertight tunnel so we then put a secondary lining of concrete in there as well to keep the aquifer out of the tunnel and to keep the sewage out of the aquifer but also as an extra wearing course because this is going to be here for uh 
Design life of 120 years, probably operational for 120 two, 300 years. Two or 300 years. Here, wow. That's, that's correct. This, we're standing in what should have been a straight piece of tunnel, but the tunneling machine that came from that direction going here towards the shaft, as it was approaching, the timing just didn't work because there were tunneling works going on in the shaft, so we couldn't get it out. So we turned right and we parked it just behind that curve. So there's a, it's a shell of a tunneling machine, all the, all the oil and the grease and everything's been taken out, all of the, the valuable parts, the motors and the rams, they've all been taken out. So it's a, a oh, skeleton wow. of a, a, a tunneling machine. We grounded it all up to keep it safe uh, and it's parked just behind that corner. And it'll stay there forever. It's there forever. It's a time capsule for someone else, I guess. Oh, wow, that's so cool. In about a year's time, this will be capped. The whole thing will be sealed off and no human being will go down there again until some future civilization excavates the ruins of London in 3000 AD or so. That's incredible. So that's interesting. So people go into sewers because they have to today. They have to go into sewers to man them. You know, some things happen there, you know, uh, they're blockages and things like that. I know people go into sewers, you know, sewer workers, sanitation workers go into sewers to do all sorts of things, right? Am, am I mistaken there? But for some reason, this massive super sewer, they're saying they're going to cap it and that's it. No one's going to go down there. And there's even like a, a time capsule, so to speak, of part of the, uh, the boring machine that drilled the the um drilled the uh the tunnel itself and <laughs> so that's going to be like uh that's going to be there forever wow that is that's just so fascinating me and to think that this literally is a sewer that's going to be operational for hundreds of years and uh this is the new beginning of an improved you know sanitation system in the london area and uh it's just so interesting, but well, well, I can't remember what I was going to say. There was something that he brought up, and I wish I could remember what it was. I didn't want to pause again during that, and that's why I always like to pause at the time because I always forget what I want to say otherwise, um, but uh, I'm sure it'll come up after I end this video, but uh, guys, this is fascinating. Um, I'd love to explore more things like this, just massive mega projects. I'd like to learn more about sewers, like I was saying, just just the Victorian sewers. I'd also like to learn just more about how they operate in general. Um, you know, just, you know, I, I'd like to learn all sorts of interesting things like this, maybe like, um, I don't know. I'm sure you guys know all sorts of things that are kind of related to this type of topic. Uh, just engineering feats and mega projects and all that sort of thing. But uh, anyways, guys, this was really interesting. Uh, thank you so much for stopping by. Please click that like button. Feel free to drop your comments or suggestions about this video or others. And don't forget to subscribe to continue to follow me on my journey to discover my British and Irish ancestry. Until next time, guys. Peace.